Hey everybody, today we are going to be playing more League of Legends, but today is going to be a little bit different. Instead of looking at a live game, we're going to go to some of my recent games where I've done really good and just kind of go over them. We're going to have two games, an any game and a Varus game. And obviously I'm showing you guys these because they are really good, so you're going to see me obviously have a good score in the end. But we're just going to kind of take a look at the game, see how I get kills. Now I am going to say this, these are kind of sloppy, even though I do end up going like 17-0 and zero at the end of this. These first couple kills are very sloppy, which kind of makes me mad. I kind of wish I would have done better uh, mechanical-wise, mechanically-wise, but there's still g good games nonetheless. Now I'm telling you. The second game is Varus. I do not play ADC. I am probably the worst ADC you'll ever seen. I only play it if I get auto-filled, and even then I probably end up failing. Annie, I'm pretty much at this point in any one trick, but you can see me pull off a little flash right there to get away from the Yi. And although I ran away from the Yi this time, later in this game I will 1v1 the Yi pretty easily. But yeah, for the for the beginning of this game, I'm going to be abusing this Lux pretty hard. Even dodged her, dodged her ulti right there. Which, uh, the, kind of, I have to give it to my opponents kind of being a little bit brain dead is why I'm going to be doing so good later on. I mean, I'm already 4-0 and zero when it's 15 minutes. I'm 5-0. and zero, And I've already got first item and boots at 15 minutes. So that's pretty good. So I don't know what this Lux is really thinking, but at the same time, if you play any correctly, she can snowball so hard. And you can already see my farm at 15 minutes is pretty much way above everybody but the enemy jinx and here the Yi, i don't really know what he's doing he's just kind of standing around and he tries to kill me but not good enough i still get the better of him in a mere fifth like five minutes i almost just go from running away from him to 1v1ing completely and already at 15 minutes we're going to start getting objectives that's how you know this game's like really snowballing we're already going to have mountain drake and you'll see me in a bit run up to lux and it doesn't look like everyone else is doing terrible either. This Warwick is 0 and 1, so that's pretty good. Uh, our Ezreal hasn't died yet. The only one that's. The only two people have died is Echo and Sona. And Echo is 3 and 1, so that's not bad. And the Sona. The Sona will do fine. She'll be able to keep herself alive. And once again, the, this is just like absolutely disgusting. I just kind of run up from Bush, one shot her. Uh, this, I'm telling you, that is the nightmare with Annie. When Annie's fed. And she can, like, look at this. You can't do anything. I, I just completely one-shot you. That is the nightmare mid. And it, it can apply to Syndra too, I guess, and Echo. When you, they can pop out in less than three seconds and kill you and you have no decision, it you know it's over. But at the same time, it's kind of her fault for feeding me in 8-0 and zero already. It's pretty good. My farm's not doing this bad. And this Yi, he thinks it's not warded, but it was actually warded. And he's going to try to take me on here, but even with his lifesteal and attack speed can't kill me though. although if you look closely he actually attacked tibbers and not me he maybe might have been able to kill me if he got his uh passive off on me maybe but i guess that was just a little bit of a mechanical misplay on his part i mean here this is disgusting under tower and i just one shot you it's kind of sad but once an annie is 10 and 0 at 20 minutes that can that tends to happen you can see me go my first two items are Moral Elicon and Luden's Echo. So those are pretty good items. Maybe I should have gone... Maybe Zonia's. The thing is, I'm really not scared of dying at this point. I, um, dying is really not an issue. I kind of just chaos pretty hard right there. Or um, another item that I probably could have gotten is... Um, the Spooky Hat. That's what I call it because I forget the name. And once again here, the E just really tries to take me on and doesn't work out that well and yeah by 23 minutes I almost have three full items so that's really not good for the enemy team it's pretty much over and my team is 22 and 3 so that's pretty good the only people that have died is Ezreal, Echo, and Sona they only have one death each this Warwick although isn't like super fed you can already see his lifesteal is pretty out there so this game's pretty much over at this point you can see I'm 14 and 0 which kind of sucks. At this point, I could even one-shot the Nasus, I honestly think. And here you could see me kind of dodge a couple of Soraka Qs pretty easily. This Soraka isn't the greatest in the world, too. But, uh, I mean, I guess if I were her, I'd be pretty wary of getting anywhere near me at this point. Uh, considering I can one-shot anybody right now. 
And yeah, overall, even the enemy team's farm isn't, like, it's okay. This Jinx farms is okay. But, yeah, overall, this, I really feel bad for this Lux. The Lux gave me a couple kills in the beginning, and after that, she just kind of died from there. But, guys, this fight, I remember this fight. This fight's insane. So, all four of them are on me, right? I Tibbers, kill them, and look at my health. Right there was the luckiest moment of my life that I got a heal and Sona. And right here, this is just sad. The E's, I got a free kill. Uh, not really. It's probably the luckiest fight I've ever had. And the game pretty much ends here. I'm 16 in 0. They're going to surrender right here, pretty much. So, yeah, that was a pretty good game. I'm pretty sure I got an easy S+. Plus. But let's go ahead and move on to the Varus game, which is just as good, honestly. This is one of my probably best ADC games in my life here. And we're pretty already far in the game. We're in like 10 minutes into the game because I was just kind of free farming for a while. But you can see here, uh, both me and my Morgana teleported back. And the Sona, for some reason, was really pushed forward. So I just kind of came and picked her off. That Again, it was just kind of a misplay by her feeding me real early and I'm really gonna snowball off of that kill you already see that Morgana almost got him but there was that one little mini in the way but that's not gonna matter and Vayne I don't know about Vayne I've seen her played a lot oh this was a good Q right here and that that set up a good second kill for me which was really nice and once again I don't like ADC but if I ever do play ADC uh, I do like to play Varus. I think Varus is one of the easier ADCs to play. Ooh, almost died right there. Probably should back off. I remember when I first started ADCing, or in the beginning when I first tried it, I really liked to play Draven, but then I realized Draven is really hard to play. So I was just like, yeah, I hate ADC. And then I picked up Varus, and I really liked him. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm being serious. I've only ever played, like, 5 to 10 Varus games. 8 or 9 of them I've gotten S's, so. I really keep Varus as, like, a pocket pick. I don't play ADC, but when I do, I pick Varus, and I generally tend to do good. And here, the... Vayne tries to 1v1 me, and... To her credit, she almost gets me. She does almost get me, but... I think if, if I was, like... 2 and 0 and she was 0 and 0 she would actually beat me uh, but just the fact that I'm so far ahead even with probably her knowing her champion way better than I know my Varus overall I did beat her and you could already see we're already 5 and 0 the only thing that I don't like is my farm I think my farm could be a bit higher could be at least over 100 and this Vigar here I really saved the Vigar right there he would have just died easily but I did end up getting both kills right there to save him and the Vigar is not doing bad either. He's six and zero, so that's pretty good for him. And you can already see by 15 minutes, we're already running up onto second or Nexus turret, pretty much. And we will get it here very shortly. And yeah, at this point, the team is just kind of the team is probably really demoralized. And the Vigar is doing a lot of work too. Actually, the Vigar is doing better than me. He's zero or eight and zero. I'm only seven and zero. So already on the enemy team, in their minds, there's two people that can pretty much one-shot them, especially with my ulti. Pretty much if I get my ulti on them, it's over. They can just say goodbye to their lives. And again, the Sona. I don't know what was up with that Sona. She's always so pushed up. You can see us get the mid-tower now onto Nexus. And this Vigar, you can see, does some work. And he even gets that uh, volleyball bear, that's what I call him. And yeah, the, that vein's not escaping. Someone got a crit on. It. I think that yeah, that was my crit. Yeah, an easy double kill. Almost got a triple, but I did not finish off that uh, volley bear. But oh well, that Vigar is doing nine and zero, so that's pretty good. And our Rangar in the back line getting Rift Herald, so that's pretty good. Already getting us some good objectives. And of course, with that Rift Herald, it's kind of GG. We're probably going to go all the way until Nexus Towers with that Rift Herald, considering they either have to pick between stopping the Rift Herald or us. And even right here, look at this. I just shoot over the wall. She has no chance of living it. It's kind of sad. And this Morgana, uh, this Morgana isn't amazing, but she d has landed a couple of crucial Qs, which has been really, really nice. So I'm not going to complain. She has helped me out, especially with those beginning kills. 
And even right here, she has set me up with a lot of kills here. And she does get this kill because my Q is just like one millisecond off where she kills her with the auto. But, I mean, I can't complain. I'm 10 and 0. I don't really need any more kills, to be honest. And what am I building here? Let's see. So, my build is really wonky. I don't even actually have a first item. I just have BF sword and a bunch of random items. So, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'll completely KS that ribbon. But, oh well. It happens, you know. So, probably when I back, I'll get some items at this point. Because I probably have a lot of gold. But, I mean, I guess I don't need the items. So, let's see what I got. Alright, and this... Uh, once again, another, like... Why was he there? The, why is he by himself? It doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the game. Even right there, I am 11-0. and zero. Nothing they could really do to stop me. I probably should have maybe bought a uh, GA just in case, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. And they're going to surrender here soon. So, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed these two games. Um, I sure enjoyed playing them. So, guys, if you did enjoy, yeah, easy double kill. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. And I'm going to keep the video going until they surrender because, yeah, again, I don't know what this ribbon's doing. Why would you do that? That's not a good idea. Don't don't run into a five man.